hi guys it's ashley thank you so much for joining me back in my channel today i wanted to do a 2017 planner setup so happy new year we have reached 2017 finally and so one of my biggest resolutions this year and goals is to become better organized and to plan plan my life to a t so that is what i'm doing and so this is my planner setup this is all the things that I'll be using for the year and uh, I just wanted to show you everything I have. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is my notebook from Paper Chase. So this is a Paper Chase notebook. It's a very standard notebook. It has a um, snake skin like pattern to it. It's purple. I really like it. Um, this notebook is really just um, all my notes and everything like what I need to do, things like that, uh, grocery lists, and other other notes that other things that's in my brain that's when I let go and just put it on paper. This is a notebook for that. I usually carry this notebook in my purse or in my diaper bag when I'm going grocery shopping because I have all my grocery shopping lists in there. I also have, um, you know, different menu things, menu items. Uh, I like to make sure I keep a list of what I'm feeding my daughter because I want to, you know, have her eat nutritious meals and stuff. So I kind of want to have a breakdown of what I'm feeding her, like all the things I'm buying for her, just to make sure she's eating healthy. Um, and yeah, so that is one so the second thing that i'm going to show you that's part of my 2017 planner startup is my journal from punctuate i got this as a gift from my husband on christmas and it was actually a gift i picked out because <laughs> i really liked this i saw it and i wanted it um this was from barnes and noble it's a uh a leather bound notebook journal if you will and it has a long leather strap that you just tie to close it I really like this notebook the cover is really floppy I like that at first I thought that the cover was a black and gold but it seems to be a navy like a really dark navy because the inside here you see is blue uh, I really 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 like this book I will be using this notebook for uh, my you know keeping tabs of our budgets uh, keeping tabs of other important things that is going on um, in our lives and just keeping a running tab of what's going on uh, I also I kind of wanted to add some journaling in this book as well but I wasn't too sure because since it's going to be a financial planning type uh, budget notebook, I don't think I wanted to add just daily ramblings of what's going on in terms of journaling in it as well. Uh, but we'll see. The great part about this is it's, let me show you, it's unlined paper. So it's just a blank space. This is a perfect notebook too if you're just like, you want to draw. If you're an artist and you want to draw and paint, this is the perfect notebook to do that as well since there's no lines in the paper. What I do like about this is the way that they have bound the pages, it looks like there's individual books in there. So there are four individual books and so I use each individual book as a, in a particular subject. So one is uh, family life, different things with family, fam um, financial budgeting, uh, and the other two, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use them for, but at least I have them so I know I can use them. So this is the perfect thing because it has four individual books in there. That's how it's bound. And then this is how you bound the book. And I like that the cover is this goldish design. Yeah. So what I like about this is that I use a Studio Series Fine Line Marker. And I have this. I'm just gonna close it up right now. This is how I tie it up. 
just to yeah. it usually and let's put the fine line marker in there so this is what I use this is the studio series fine line marker set that I have you saw the black marker that I have in there and so this it's a little bit hard to snap so this is the fine line marker set and I have them in various colors as you can see this is practically probably the only thing I use in terms of decorating my notebook or my planner uh, my planner my notebook they're very I use them for a very functional need everything's very functional in my planner everything is very functional in my both my notebooks so this this marker set is probably the only colorful thing that you will see in my planner or in my notebooks. Uh, I like that it has a variety of colors. There are 30 colors in here. Some of them are already taken out because I've used some of them. Uh, but yeah, so the last thing that I'm going to show you is my day designer planner. So you guys saw my unboxing of the day designer mini and the day designer mini cover if you haven't seen that video yet i will link it in the description box and you'll also see it on the top right of this section here uh i've had this day designer for a week a little bit less than a week because i started it it started it's it's the january 2017 december 2017 version and so i just started planning in it Prior to the, to the day designer, I had the happy planner, and the happy planner just did not work for me at all. Uh, it just didn't work with my planning needs. I'm, I like daily planning. I like seeing what I do each and every day. Everything, I like to check off things that I've completed. I'm a really, I'm a real day planner, a daily planner. So this has been working out perfectly for me. Uh, and it's only been five days, <laughs> but it's been working out perfectly. So this is the, it's not the A5. This is, this looks similar to the A5, obviously, because this is the, this is the cover that I purchased with the flagship by, um, planner. So this is it. As I said before in the, my previous video, it does not stay closed because it's, it's pretty new, but what I do and you may not may not like me for this. I just bend it because I mean I mean really it's I don't really need it. I just need it to stay close. I just bend it and so just working through there and that's practically perfect for me. I don't mind this little thing that I created here. It doesn't really matter to me. Um but yeah so right now I don't have anything on this section I'm not gonna put any credit cards or anything on that um, on this section because I don't carry it um, outside the home. It's really something that, I, that stays at home for me um, because it's big and I can't put it. I'm not gonna put it in my purse or in my diaper bag or anything like that because I just don't see a need to. Uh, I plan out my day and then I get. What I do is I plan the day before of what I need to do for the next day and then in the morning when I wake up I look at my daily planner I look at the plans I need to do for the day then I get them done and then even if I have to go outside and get them and get them done I don't have to look over it while I'm outside because I could keep a close uh, like a memory of what I have to do so I just wake up in the morning look what I have to do for the day get it done and then when I come back home or or if I'm still home or anything like that what I do is just I just highlight the things that I have completed uh, I use these uh, fine line markers as a way to kind of reference things in my planner I let's see. so so, see, I, if you can see here, everything's pretty um, highlighted. So, what I do is I use like maybe one marker or two markers 
if something, if I didn't do anything, if I didn't do one thing for that day, I would transfer it over to the next day. And I use these markers to do so. So for, so for example, if it was Tuesday and I didn't get one particular thing done, I would put in that Tuesday bracket that move this over to Wednesday so I can get it done for the next day. So that is it. So what else I have in here? I haven't put anything in this pocket yet um, because, I mean, this is practically, this is very, very new. I have the two cards that came with the Day Designer. I, I have these two cards in there that I guess I plan on keeping. Then I have another important thing um, in there. So what I would probably keep in here is just like notes that I need to keep or maybe receipts for certain things. Uh, maybe some bills so I can remember to pay them on time uh, and different things like that. Um, like I said, I'm just going to show you a blank page. This is just, let's move over to April. So this is a blank page. I, as you saw on my other page there, I don't see myself decorating this um, planner. It's a very, I'm using it very functionally. This is going to be a very functional planner because I just need to keep a running tab of the things that I need to do, the things that I have done for the day, and uh, that's it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to decorate the planner in big stickers or anything like that because I need all the space. I like every simple, every single thing on the page. All the boxes. I like all of them. I like how you can. Um, put your today's top three on there. I like to use this because, you know, I put a lot of things on here. But the three things I need to do that are just non-negotiables, I put them as my top three. So I can know that if I didn't get anything else done for the day, I got my top three done. And my top three done are the ones that are important things to do. Um, so... That's why I like, I like, I can keep a running tab of the money that I spent for the day. I like when I can put, I put zero down on the, on that section because I spent zero dollars. I like that. Um, but I like to keep, I like to know that I can, um, put a running tab of how much I spent for a day because there have been times when I would spend money in the day and I just, I haven't, I hadn't, um, kept tabs on it, which leads me to just be, you know, disorganized when it comes to finances. So just to know that I spend $10 or $15 or $25 for that day or anything like that. Or if I'm in the grocery store and I spend $60, at least I know that I can put it down and it's like on Friday, this is how much I spent. And then I can use, then I, I go back to my other um, notebook, which has my financial planning and, and budgeting and I can put this is how much I spent and then deduct it from whatever is my account so I can keep a running tab of what I have and what I'm saving and all thing, everything like that. So that's what I'm using this for. Uh, I see myself using the entire planner for the entire year. Um, and I say that because I'm really enjoying this planner. I am enjoying it. I love how simple it is. Um, I love that, let me see if you can, let me just zoom in so you can see, okay. I love how simple it is. I love how simple it is. I love that there aren't a lot of colors in here. I love how, you know, the the font is very simple. Um, I just like how simple it is and how functional it is and there's not a lot of color. I, I I like color, but stuff like when I need to plan my life and everything like that, I think um, I just like how functional and simple that this planner is. Um, and I love the, 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 the planning a day, like I said before, because it's better than planning the week for me. I had the happy planner before this, and 
um, it just did not work for me because I needed something like this. I needed something to plan my day instead of planning my week. Um, because I, with the happy planner, I wasn't able to become as organized as I wanted to because I would miss things that I had to do for the day. So this is perfect for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you. So everything else, there's really nothing else in here. There's just this and oh, there's just a pocket here. Um, yeah okay so there's a pocket here um, that will serve a purpose one day I don't know um, and then there's also a pen loop here that I don't use because it's just hard to put my pen in and then pull it out so the other thing that I like about this planner let me show you um, is uh, they show you how to use the planner. I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in. So they show you how to use the planner and the purpose pages. I haven't used any of these pages yet because um, these are the purpose pages, I believe. So it tells you like you can do um, my reality check, my core and everything that so these are your core values your top five core values and your crazy list top five crazy list then top five strengths and I think whatever overlaps is what is like your core uh, so um, that is um, this is a great exercise that I plan on doing um, not right now because I have to sit down and really assess it and figure out what it is I can just have to you know read it and then then you have my heart goals and then so oh your heart goals so it's it seems like three months what are your goals for three months what are your goals for six months what are your goals for nine months and what are your goals in a year so one another thing that I like about the day designer is that it allows you to think about your future goals like well, where do you want to be in three months where do you want to be in six months? Where do you want to be in a year? And uh, I like this because it has allowed me to get up and go, if you, that makes any sense. Um, it allows me to kind of uh, not just want to like sit down and do nothing and, um, all day or anything like that. Um, like I like I like having a lot of things in my planner. I like to know that I did a lot for that day. Um, so it just allows me to get up and go and do things. Now this other thing is these are your heart goals and then your plan, turning your heart goals into into intentions. What do you plan? What is what the progress looks like? And then you have your months. Is it the month? Yeah. Oh this is your ideal month or your ideal week. And then you have your whole year in review here. So yeah, your whole year in review, and then you have a note page here, and then the rest is just your notes, um, your day planner. So these are the three things that I use every day. Um, this is going to be my planner setup for 2017. Uh, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not, I know it's not like other videos where there's a lot of stickers and washi tape and things like that. It may be not too exciting, but I just wanted to show you what is what my plan of setup it, um, is for the year. Um, like I said, it's very functional uh, and I like it that way. So hopefully I get my all my goals done and completed and um, I think it'll be a good year. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I will be adding more videos like this in the future. Um, yeah, because I really enjoy planning. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.